So what is Starfield's main story about? There's a lot of theories out there and Bethesda have kept the story of Starfield pretty tight-lipped. One thing we know for sure is that Starfield's main quest will be 30 to 40 hours long, depending on your choices in the main story, as confirmed by Todd Howard of Bethesda in an IGN interview. To put that into perspective, this is around 20% longer than Skyrim and Fallout 4 whose main stories are roughly the same amount of runtime, again depending on who you side with and what you choose to do. So with this information we can probably guess that Bethesda has a really interesting story in mind if it needs to be this long. Another thing that I think is important to note is when Bethesda were promoting Skyrim everything was dragons, 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 which of course is what Skyrim's main quest focuses on dragons. With Starfield, Bethesda have non-stop been saying what is out there, which I think hints at the main story, what is out there. We know at some point we find these artifacts, this is what Constellation have to say about said artifacts. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So they're building something, and they could be the key to discovering what is out there. We will be searching for these artifacts and putting the pieces of the puzzle together. We also know every time we touch one of these artifacts, we see visions. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? So obviously it would appear that we start the game as some kind of miner and we dig up one of these artifacts, which appear to be one of many. The artifact you found appears to be one of many. And Constellation obviously want to find more and unlock their secrets. Constellation also tell us that whatever lies at the end of the road will change humanity forever. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity. Forever. So we can assume that we will find all of these artifacts which probably create this big thing and how we decide to use them will change humanity forever. I also want to point out that there is a fourth secret city that Bethesda haven't said anything about other than confirming that there is one. I believe that this is tied into the main quest. So with the whole what is out there and changing humanity forever things, I believe Starfield's main quest will consist of us finding these artifacts, which end up sort of unlocking an ancient alien city filled with intelligent alien life. Perhaps a city that has been quote lost for thousands of years, which humans never really knew about, much like the city of Atlantis, not to be confused with Starfield's actual city, New Atlantis. What if in Starfield lore there have always been rumours of an ancient alien civilization, far more advanced than humanity, and these aliens went into hiding during the colony wars, or maybe they were wiped out during a war, or something along those lines, and the entire main quest of Starfield leads to us finding this city and this race of intelligent aliens. Now another reason that I believe this theory is that the questline is 40 hours long according to Bethesda, so us finding this race and this city may be only half of the quest, with the other 20 odd hours being us helping these aliens or perhaps siding with another faction that wants to wipe them out. This is just a theory of course, but this theory just sounds like something Bethesda would do. It's also interesting to say the least, and with a main story that takes nearly two entire days of gameplay hours to complete, they absolutely need to keep us interested. Also, floating rocks and shapes, this kind of looking like a door. Hell, this scene here could even be us touching some kind of portal, which takes us to an alien city. I just believe that this is what the main quest will be, but of course this is just me speculating based on the evidence that we have. The only thing I really hope for is that we just don't become the chosen one again. In Skyrim you're always the dragonborn, if you join the Dark Brotherhood you're the listener. Even if you join the Thieves Guild and completely butcher every single quest that they give you, Ringloft just keeps telling Mercer, I don't know, there's just something about this one. Like I really hope that Starfield doesn't do this, sometimes I just want to be a guy, right? When I join the Crimson Fleet I don't want to become their leader or the world's best smuggler or whatever. I just want to be a member of the faction, maybe rising through the ranks if I choose to. 
Honestly, look, there is a lot that Bethesda could do with Starfield's main story. The game is literally set in space with over a thousand planets and a hundred solar systems, so the possibilities are just really endless. I think at the end of the day, I just want a good main story. I don't really care what they do with it. I was never a big fan of Skyrim's main quest. I think it was fun the first time I played it, but I've never been interested in doing the main quest since. I mean, I have done it like a thousand times, but that's besides the point. I think Fallout 4's main quest was really fun until you defeat Kellogg. Then I thought it went really downhill because it just becomes, which faction do you want to side with? You choose the faction, and then it's just Radiant quests until you decide to take on the Institute. So as long as Starfield's main quest is good, I'll be happy no matter what it is about. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for me today. I do just want to quickly apologise for any background noise in this video. It is apparently National Helicopter Day in England and I have been trying to record for three hours waiting for it to die down and it just hasn't, so there's not really much I can do about it, but again, apologies. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop it a like. It really does help out smaller channels like myself. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on Starfield news, leaks, discussions and plenty of other Starfield related content, consider subscribing because we cover it all over here. Anyway, with that said, thank you all so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one.